So as you guys probably know, the new Avengers Endgame trailer just dropped. And well, there's obviously a lot of mystery surrounding it. There are some things that happened that just aren't really explainable until now. As I will be breaking down this trailer and explaining everything that I possibly can about it. So let's just dive right in with the beginning of the trailer. If we do this... Now, it wasn't quite clear to me what this shot was, where we were in the Avengers universe, but after much research, this is actually Clint Barton, a.k.a. Hawkeye's house, as we can tell because it's in the woods. We'd be going in shorthanded. Now, if you watched Infinity War, you would know that Bruce Banner was having a hard time turning into the Hulk, and this is actually what he means here. He's shorthanded because he can't turn big and green like normal. Yeah, you mean because he killed all our friends? Now this here is really interesting. Because you would assume that he would know that Hulk can't turn into the Hulk. So, maybe there's another reason why he doesn't know. Maybe it's because he's actually a scroll. This leads into a popular theory that Don Cheadle is actually not a real actor. We owe this. Now, it's hard to tell who exactly this person is. But by their voice... I can identify who it is, and I will mention who they are later in the video. Just keep this person in mind, okay? To everyone who's not in this room. Now this part here really shocked me, but it also got me excited because I started to realize that they're bringing in a gay aspect of the Marvel movies. Try. What caught my attention first was that the I and the O in studios are marked as red. It might play into the fact that Red was marked in the second trailer for Avengers, and I was thinking, maybe it's for a reason. Well, it might be because it might be a 10, and there are only 10 Avengers left. But then I realized, wait, that wouldn't make sense if they were all Red in the previous Avengers trailer. So I realized that it's probably because of something that I'll mention sooner. Of course, any real Marvel fan should know what's going on here. This is obviously Wakanda, and I'm assuming Black Panther's on here, which I'll get to later. This is what I was talking about earlier with the red. See here, we have Yondu, who seems to be back from the dead, unless this is a flashback, which we'll get to flashbacks later. There also seems to be a new character, which I will also get to later. How much we lost. This is what I was talking about with that character earlier. This is obviously Pepper Penis, and she is in the first Iron Man movie, but never seemed to return until, I guess, now, which is really cool, in my opinion. Left. See a shot of Howard Stark, which is Tony Stark's dad's house, which we'll get into later. And it's strange that they went here. You can tell this is his house because it has an A on it, and that's what Stark Tower looked like. Ah, uh, so this here is very interesting. We see Iron Man, and this is in his suit that he had in the Avengers movie, the very first one. Except he's shooting orange, which we've only seen him do in his very first suit, which they did show in the second Avengers trailer. So, I'm wondering if they go back in time, and actually, he makes a new suit out of all his old ones, which would make a lot of sense with this scene here. Here we have Hawkeye, but now he's going under his new persona called Yondu, which is interesting because Yondu is also in this movie. Maybe it's just a flashback and he's reminiscing on how great of a character Yondu was. We can tell it's him though because he has a mohawk and a really cool tattoo that's obviously very reminiscent of Yondu. Where's he then? So this is a new shot of Pepper Penis? Okay, so this here is a huge moment in all of the Marvel movies. Here we have Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, lifting Thor's hammer. This is obviously a huge deal because he normally can't do that. We have, obviously, Pepperpinus in a whole new scene. Her hair seems to be blonde now, which we did kind of see in the previous scene of her. And I'm wondering what she's doing here. We gotta finish this is probably going to be pretty confusing for some people, as you might not know who everyone here is, but I've gone ahead and labeled it, because it really confused me when I first watched this trailer, too. 
On the very left, we have Yondu, and then Black Panther, then Tony Stark, then Chris Hemsworth, then Yondu, then Ant-Man, as you can see there, because he's short. Then, this might blow your mind, but we have Miles Morales from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and then, of course, Pepper Penis. You trust me. I do. This is obviously bringing in a more homosexual aspect to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as we see a relationship form between Steve Rogers and Tony Stark. Here we have a date that says April 26th. I'm not quite sure what this means, but it has the Avengers logo in it, so I think it might relate to the Avengers. We have the ship from Star Wars, the Millennium Falcon. This is really cool because I didn't think they would put it in the movie, but of course it makes sense because Han Solo is played by Chris Evans. They also bought Marvel, and Disney also bought Star Wars. And I have a theory that this might be a musical because Disney makes musicals. This is insider information, you can only get this from the number one source, Herny Boy, on YouTube. The X-Men from the X-Men franchise, which makes sense because Disney just recently bought Fox, which means they have the rights to all those characters. Keep it up, Disney. Obviously a picture of Tony Stark as a kid with Howard Stark. They're in front of the Stark Industries logo, which is how you know that it's them. Proof that there would be time travel in the movie because this is Howard Stark, and of course, he's dead because he's old. He didn't get killed by the Winter Soldier like people think, but he actually died of old age. Rest in peace. Failure. Darth Vader's ship. <laughs> we have Black Panther standing next to Yondu, which is a huge scene for the Marvel Cinematic Universe because those two characters have never been together in a scene before. Where did that bring? This is Chris Evans, which it will be his last movie because he doesn't like Trump, so he's being fired. Rest in peace, Chris Evans. His career is over. Yeah. Some research, this is actually Ant-Man's new pet, Rocket League. Here is Chris Evans' final scene from the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Of course, he'll be dying in this movie. What people may not know is just... This is actually Thanos, who appeared at the end of the very first Avengers movie, but we've never seen him again. Until now, I guess. Which is cool, in my opinion. Not to me. This is a very important scene for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As you can see on the far left, we have Iron Man. In the middle, we have Tony Hawk, as you can see because he's holding a skateboard. And we have Batman himself. What people may not realize is that this says Avengers Endgame, which may be the title of the movie, but I'm not quite sure yet. This says tickets on sale, which people may not know, but that means that this is going to be a movie in theaters. So that was it for my Avengers Endgame trailer breakdown, which is going to be a really good movie, and I'm really excited to see it in theaters. Also, be sure to check out my SoundCloud, Herny Boy Herny, and... Uh, there's a new album coming out, so please listen to that when that drops. It will come out on my channel, too. Amen. Check me out on SoundCloud, honey boy. There's Will. There's Smith. Hey, it's Will Smith. Hey, Malin, record audio for my video. Hey, Smith, say something for the video. Hey, yo, I'm somebody in the house. Don't you know what to say? Say a little breakdown.